4th of March, 1945. Last night, I dreamed of her. Warm brown eyes, snub nose, soft lips. Her name alone is wonderful. Katerina Grigorevna. I was amazed to learn in Budapest that she was the spy we were looking for. Her beauty, her tender and fragile being captured me on first sight. I felt that I meant something to her as well. Later, when I held her hand for whatever reason in mine, I felt an unknown, delightful tickling in my stomach. Facing each other, we stood motionless, sheepishly looking for words to capture the magic of the increasingly tense moment. When Katya looked down and softly withdrew her hand, I believed to have missed the moment to kiss her forever. She volunteered for medical service with Marshal Dolbuhin and was now awaiting with my company to begin her service. I am not courageous enough to meet her. I fear my feelings for her. I fear to lose her forever after the inevitable parting. Я слушаю! Слушаюсь! Вперёд! Теперь пошёл! Голды, не тут арт! Начали!
Вы под прицелом! Мы под огнем!
Слушаю. Captain Alexander Vladimirov. Here's the reinforcements. Alexander! Hey, I've been waiting for you! Ah, the famous hero. The much-feared Lark. <laughs> Ivan? What? How did you get here? So, you know each other? But, of course, we grew up together, went to school together. And went after the same girls. <laughs> and who are you, my dear lady? Katarina Grigorevna, comrade captain. I've signed up as a medic for the front. Hmm. Obviously, you still prefer the same type. All right, all right. Stop it now. <laughs> all right. Let's get to the point. Recon reports that the Germans are planning an attack on... <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! This seems to be the German counterattack already. Alexander! You take command and... He's unconscious. I'll take care of him, Alexander. You just go and do what has to be done. Делись нападающие. Господи, я ранен! Мы несем 
большие потери. Мы под прицелом! Машина повреждена! Мы под прицелом! Да? Что? Нам нужен врач! Мы под обстрелом! Давай! 
под огнем не потеряли много крови. Но нас стреляют!
Когда? Двигай! Начали! Я слушаю. Каков приказ? Давай! Бомбардировщик! Под обстрелом! Слушает, товарищ командир! Я слушаю. Давай! Начали! Да! Вперед! 
Ладно, товарищи. Вперед! Я готов! Go. И... Давай! Вперед! Там впереди! Что ты едешь? Это слишком опасно. На нас напали! Назад! Это большие потери. Санитары! Сюда! Эрит! Ачарит! Ivan, we fought back the German attack. Alexander! I've brought along a guest. Tavas y Gaspar. Uh, delighted to meet you, uh, comrade. So you're Hungarian? Igen. I'm the leader of a small partisan group. Katya, how's Ivan? He's severely wounded. He has to be taken to the military hospital immediately. Otherwise... I'm all right. I only need a little rest. Ah, could anybody bring me a glass of vodka? But, Comrade Captain, you have to go to the hospital immediately, otherwise... Comrade Tavasi, could you and your men escort the captain? Of course. And I will take care of him during the transport. Take good care of yourself, Katya. I don't want anything to happen to you. <laughs> Take good care, Alexander. Take good care. This kind of illness cannot be cured. 